it's clear that Georgia is the most competitive state in the country and now will host two U.S. Senate runoffs. Remember, it's not just me. It's also Reverend Warnock in the other Senate race. And that will determine the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. So Georgia is the top battleground state in the country. And what we've seen here in Georgia is just an absolutely unprecedented turnout from voters of all races and backgrounds and age groups who are fed up with the mismanagement of this pandemic, who are fed up with politicians trying to take their health care away and are standing up and demanding change. inspiring things I've ever seen, the determination and tenacity with which Georgians withstood long lines to get out and cast their ballots and demand better. What I humbly offer the people of this state is leadership in a pandemic informed by medical science and epidemiological expertise, representation guided by the needs of working families and small businesses and not just corporate lobbyists in Washington. We're building a multi-generational, multi-racial coalition in this state, building on the work that Stacey Abrams and others have done over the last 10 years to register and organize voters. Uh, and I believe that history right now is unfolding in Georgia with two Senate races, two Senate runoffs in a single state, and as you have pulled up on screen, the presidential hanging in the balance here as well. What Georgia voters have demonstrated in, again, unprecedented numbers is that the failure of our present leadership to deliver timely economic relief to working families and small businesses, to deliver a response to this pandemic that's rooted in science and which is honest with the American people about threats to our health is totally unacceptable. And my opponent, Senator David Perdue, opposed a single first round of $1,200 stimulus checks to workers here in Georgia. He led the fight to cut unemployment insurance when millions of Georgians had filed jobless claims in this pandemic. He told us COVID-19 was no deadlier than the ordinary flu, all the while he was buying medical and vaccine stocks. So he is on the ballot. It's his representation that will be repudiated.